everyone. Configuring Amazon CDN or Content Delivery Network with WordPress can help improve the speed and performance of your WordPress site by caching and delivering static content from servers located closer to your users. Thus in today's video, let's take a look at how to configure Amazon CDN with WordPress using AWS CloudFront. I'm Aparna Singhda from LearnPool and let's get started. Before we move to the demo part, let's first take a look at what is Amazon CDN. Well, Amazon CDN or Content Delivery Network is a service provided by Amazon Web Services that helps improve the speed and performance of websites and web applications by caching and delivering static content from servers located closer to the end users. For this particular video, we will be using AWS CloudFront, which is a CDN provided by Amazon Web Services. Now, CloudFront caches content at edge locations, which are servers located in various geographic locations around the world. When a user requests content, the request is automatically routed to the closest edge location for faster delivery. Let's first sign up for an Amazon Web Services or AWS account. For that, go to AWS official website. The link to the website is mentioned in the description. Click on create an AWS account button at the top right corner of the page. Now enter your name and email address. AWS will send a verification code to your email address. Enter the code on the next screen to verify your email address. Next here, enter the password. And then click on continue. Now here select business in how you plan to use AWS. Next enter your personal information such as your name, company name and contact information. Review the terms and conditions and then enter your payment information. AWS requires a valid debit or credit card to create an account. Once done with that, enter your PAN card details. Then click on the verify and continue button. You might be redirected to your bank's website to authorize the verification charge. AWS will send a verification code. Next, choose your support plan. AWS offers a range of support plans from basic free support to enterprise level support. Finally, complete your account setup. Once you have signed up to the AWS account, this is what the dashboard would look like. Let's first set up an IAM user. For that, go to the search bar on the top and then search IAM. You will be redirected to the IAM Management Console page. Here under Access Management in the dashboard on the left, click on Users. Next click Add Users. Now enter the username. You don't require to select the option that is Provide User Access to the AWS Management Console here since it is a programmatic user. Once done, click Next. In the next step, you need to set permissions. Here in the permissions option, select attach policies directly. Here you can see a new section as permissions policies. Now here search CloudFront. Select Cloud Full Access. Now click next. Here you will get the review page to cross check the choice you entered. Once done, click create user and the IAM user will be created successfully. Now next click on the user that we created. Here you can see all the details of the user. Now from here go to security credentials, access keys, click create access key. Here select application outside AWS so that the key can be used for your WordPress website. Once done, click next and create access key. 
Ensure to download the access keys from the download option here. Now this is because you will get the access key only once. So to keep a record, it's better to download it. Once the key is downloaded, open it and keep it aside as we would need it in the WordPress AWS settings. Next, let's configure Amazon CDN with WordPress. To simplify the process, we shall be using a plugin named WP Admin AWS CDN. First, let's install the plugin. For that, go to WordPress dashboard, Plugins, Add New. Now here, search WP Admin AWS CDN. Once the plugin appears, click on Install. Now once it's installed, click Activate. Now once the plugin is activated, click on the plugin that will now appear on the WordPress dashboard. It will open the setup page for Amazon CloudFront CDN plugin. Your domain name will automatically be selected. Next here, give the access key and the secret key. For that, open the access keys CSV file that we had earlier kept aside. Now copy the keys and paste it in their respective sections. Let all the other settings be default. Next, select the price class. Please do note that the more number of locations class is selected, the price will increase accordingly. Now once done, click create distribution. And your Amazon CDN will be configured with WordPress, giving you a faster and better performing website. However, please note that the domain name will remain the same. And that's all. This is how you can configure Amazon CDN with WordPress with ease using AWS CloudFront. Do let us know in the comment section if this video was helpful to you. If you like this video, give a big thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. And don't forget to hit the bell icon to keep getting updates on more such videos. Thank you so much for watching. I'll be signing off and we'll see you in the next video.